All right, so Alchemist here, and today I have some packs of Aether Revolt to open up. I got five packs. Um, I bought a booster pack box, and I opened seven packs of it. I was like, let me film opening some of these packs so people can see what I get. So, first off. We got Bastion Enforcer, a Shock, Shipwreck Moray, Lifecraft Cavalry, Cavalry, it's a hard word to say, uh, Fen Hauler, um, Nat Natural Obsolescence. Renegade Map Destructive Tampering Prize Fighter Construct. I think this guy's pretty cool. Five mana six two. Yeah, he'll get blown up by shock, but eh. He's a cool guy. Um Aether Poisoner. Ooh, I haven't seen this one yet. That touch. And then he enters the battlefield, get 2 energy, and when he attacks, he may pay 2 energy if you do create a 1-1 one, one servo artifact creature token. Interesting. Um, trophy Mage. Deft Dismissal. It's, it's, it's white damage. Like, I, I first saw this, I'm like, what? White dealing damage? Um, divide as you choose among 1, 2, or 3 target attacking or blocking creatures. I mean... Why it has destroyed creatures in the past, especially with the attacking blocking thing. But I thought, hey, white damage is pretty good. We have airdropped aeronauts, and after that, we have whir of invention. Improvise your artifacts help you cast a spell. Each artifact you tap add one to paying this cost. Um, Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less, but into the battlefield and shuffle your library. That seems pretty good. Planes. The Gremlin token. Alright. The next pack. Opening, opening it up. I tried to go through these pretty quick. We got Audacious Infiltrator. Frontline Rebel, Dispersal Technician, Scourging Bandar, Scrounging, Scrounging, Scrounging Bandar, Scourging, what the heck is Scourging? Uh, cruel Finality, High Spire Infusion, Countless Gear. Renegade. Implement of Ferocity. Implement of Examination. Aether Inspector. Outland Boar. Maverick Thopterist. Reckless Racer. We have Rishkar's Expertise. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. You may cast a card of converted mana cost five or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. That seems really good. I'm just saying. It's expensive to cast, but. I'm thinking like EDH, Commander. It seems like it would be a really good card. And planes. Energy Reserve. Alright. Three more packs. If you can't tell, I'm filming this on a cardboard box. Because my table is covered in plants. I guess that's a good thing for it to be covered in, but um, it's unusable for filming. 
All right, so next pack we have Chandra's Revolution, Shipwreck Moray, Audacious Infiltrator, Fen Holler, Natural Obsolescence, Mobile Garrison, Lathanu Sailback, Lathanu Sailback, Iron Tread Crusher. I like the R on this. It's just this big freaking monster truck thing. Negate. Console, consolate turret. Oh, okay, so you can tap it to get energy counters. That's good because it's not too much that gives you energy counters. Treasure Keeper. Treasure Keeper dies. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non land card with converted mana cost three or less. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, but all revealed cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Hmm. Rogue Refiner, Thopter Arrest, Glint Sleeve Siphoner, has Menace, whenever Glint Sleeve Siphoner enters the battlefield or attacks you get an energy counter, at the beginning of your upkeep you may pay two energy counters if you do draw a card and you lose one life. I think that'd be good if um... There was uh, more ways to get energy. I mean, there's definitely ways to get energy, but nothing breaking where we're, yeah, I'm gonna draw 100 cards. All right. In this pack we have Dispersal Technician, Audacious Infiltrator, Shock, Defiant Salvager, High Spire Infusion, Implement of Improvement, oh, Implement of Improvement, Welder Automation, Aether Stream Leopard, Iron Tread Crusher, Consolate Turret, Hidden Herbalist. Lifecraft Awakening. But X plus one plus one counters on target artifact you control. If it isn't a creature or vehicle, it becomes a zero zero construct artifact creature. Hmm. Interesting. Spire Patrol. Oh, that's cool. I like the R on that. Uh, when Spire Patrol enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. And we have. Either Geode Miner, when he, he attacks, you get two energy counters, pay two energy counters, and exile him, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. We have an island, an Athopter token, and then the last pack I'm opening for today. Uh, this pack is going to be a pain to open just because you got to have one pack that's always a pain in the butt to open. It's just the way things work. Yeah. Frontline Rebel. Metallic Rebuke. Caught in the Brights. Oh, that poor um, whatchamacallit is going to get, Gremlin is going to get mushed by a car. Ugh, tragic. Resourceful Return, Druid of the Cowl, Alley Strangler, Countless Gears Renegade, Implement of Malice, Reservoir, Wor Reservoir Walker, Destructive Tampering, Binding Constrictor. This has a cool ability. It has a, if one or more counters will be placed on an artifact or creature you control, that many of those counters plus one are placed on that permanent instead. Good or bad, it depends on what you're facing. And if you would get one or more counters, you get 
that many of those counters plus one instead. Well, I guess that could be good or bad. So with energy, I think you get energy counters. So you get an extra energy counter. You get an extra plus one plus one counter. Um, extra charge counters. But you also get extra minus one minus one counters and infect counters. So that's the downside to it. I, I still think it's cool. I'm thinking of putting in uh, my commander deck with um, Atraxia or whatever her name is. Um, Ravenous Inducer. Pacification Array. And we have Barrel's Expertise. Return up to three target artifacts and or creatures to their owner's hands. You may cast a card with converted mana cost four or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. What's with this casting seems does is there like an expertise of each color that lets you cast a card without paying its mana cost? That's pretty sweet. The planes and the legendary monkey token. Ragban. Ragaban. The legendary pirate monkey. And he, the um, creature that puts him into play, um, when she attacks, it puts him into play, and then he gets exiled at the end of combat. I'm like, he's got a legendary monkey. Who wants to exile at the end of combat? So, best solution, send out the infinite. End your turn right at the end of combat. You keep your monkey. Yeah, you lose your second main, main phase and all that. But yeah, you can live without it. Well, that's it for the pack opening. Uh, I just figured I'd do it. Kind of spur the moment improvisation on a cardboard box type filming dealio here. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Consider subscribing. Tell your friends. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Bye bye.